Today we're going to look at cast iron fittings and a real general overview of some of the product offering. Now let's start by looking at bends, one of the most common fittings out there. The first one here is a quarter bend. One fourth means there's four that make a circle, also known as a 90. Then we've got a fifth bend. Takes five, you get the drill. Sixth bend, eighth bend, which is your 45, and a 16th bend, which ultimately is your 22 bend. Now bends come in lots of different configurations. Regardless if it's long or short, double, single, the radius or the bend is always the same. The beauty for us, Charlotte stamps it right on the fitting. Just remember, if it's a 16th, there's 16 of them that make a circle. One sixteenth of that circle. All right. The Y, no matter if it's reducing or straight sized, if it's in the letter of a Y, that'd be a Y. An upright Y is a Y with an eighth bend on the top that's turned upward to extend it. A sand T, sand being short for sanitary, essentially is a T fitting that's directional. Anything that is sanitary is always in reference to directional. So if you were to run a snake down it, that snake can only go one way in that fitting. A straight T could send a snake up or send a snake down meaning a cleaning snake if you had to service the line. Sand is always sanitary. A quick example, without me telling you the name of this fitting, you would know essentially that it's a sanitary fitting and it's a cross or a double sand tee. It's ultimately the same fitting. One reducing, one straight sized. A combi or combination fitting is a Y and an eighth bin all put into one. Regardless of size, the description tells you the fitting. So what we've talked about forever, if we know the size, the shape, and the material, we've got it. All right, how about a couple examples? Here's a double combi, double quarter bend, easy peasy, double Y, simpler. Moving on to tapped fittings. One of the fittings that gets pulled wrong pretty regular in every branch is a test tee and a sand tap tee. Now knowing what you know right now, it's real easy. Sanitary, always bent, always directional. Test tee, always straight. And whenever we're referring to a tapped fitting, there's always a threaded end. How about an iron body clean out or a tapped adapter? Essentially, this thing is a piece of pipe with a thread in it, like a female adapter. Iron body clean out, IBCO, IBCO, however it gets referred to, the difference between an IBCO and a tapped adapter is an IBCO always has a one size smaller plug that it would fit. So a two inch IBCO, inch and a half plug, two inch tapped adapter, two inch plug. All right, a couple of common tap fittings, two by inch and a half by inch and a half, figure 1A. So essentially, double santi or reducing double santi. How about a two inch double sand tap T? So, right, sanitary on both sides, making it double, tapped meaning tapped, blah, blah, blah. All right, how about this one? Four by two low heel outlet. So it's a four inch quarter bend, and in the heel or the bend, the radius of that fitting, there's a two inch outlet. Four by two low heel outlet. How about a blind plug? You know why they call it a blind plug? Because when you put it on the end, you can't see the light at the end of the pipe. That's not true. I made that up. How about this one? You ready? Extended eighth bend. You know why? Because it's a little bit longer eighth bend. All right, let's look at closet bends. A closet bend being just exactly that. It's the bend that comes off the bottom of the toilet and catches the waistline. Closet bends always get referred to in dimensions, circumference, and length. Like it reads on the stamp, this is a three by four by six by 12 closet bin. It's all pretty straightforward, but really good to know. One more look, if I was a contractor that walked in the counter and I said, I need a three by four by 16 by 18 closet bin, this is what you're gonna go grab. And if you are double checking an invoice that says three by four by 16 by 18, it better read it on the fitting. All right. A little handling. 
it is absolutely acceptable to move cast iron fittings around on the small diameters rather aggressively. Whenever you get into anything large diameter, four inch and above, it is unacceptable to throw those fittings around. There's a real distinguishable sound when a fitting is broke. Do not ship a broke fitting. This is okay. This is not okay. This is how a broken fitting sounds. This is how a good fitting sounds. All right, let's talk cast iron. 